Well, when you get a game out there and it does extremely well, people start to take notice. And that's what's happened here with Helldivers 2. The game is uh, rocketing up the, the list, if not taking over some of the list, but they've got some problems. They've got server issues, and it seems that the game was built on a very old infrastructure for programming. So what's the longevity of this game going to be? Well, before we get fully into the video, do me a favor, like, share, subscribe, and don't forget to comment down below. Now, Helldivers 2. They, you're seeing constant support incoming for this game. We have a patch for PS5 and, PS and PC players to address AFK players' stability and crashes and continued back-end performance improvements. So what's going on here? First off, you have a server load that maxes out at 450,000 people. They've hit that cap. They've hit it for a few days now. And no one wants to log out because if they log out, that means they got a, they get an error. Um, they have to constantly keep trying. There isn't, from my understanding, a queue time set up here, much like back in the old days of World of Warcraft, um, where you had a server queue for certain servers. It's a game inspired pretty much by Starship Troopers, uh, where you go around and you defeat the bugs. And this is this is what's going on. Now, what's happening also is people aren't logging out. So now they're having to do the, the impossible and go around and say, okay, you're AFK, you're booted. They're having to boot players so other players can join in. People have to sleep at some point and that cycle needs to continue so people can log in and new people can find the game. So what then, right now, they have a lot of people just ruining the idea of it. And Game Rant, all Helldivers 2 errors, service status, and working fixes. If, you haven't, uh, if you're having issues and errors in Helldivers 2, that means you can't join or create lobbies. This will help. So they put up an article saying that you can get help through this, but this is ongoing things. Server capacity, you're getting errors uh, 20, 38, and 3001. Error codes means the servers are at capacity and means you got to try again. You got to keep trying. This is absolutely horrendous at this point. I, I have seen some po posts where people are saying Helldiver 2 is pretty much unplayable. Well, it's playable by about 450,000 people but not anyone beyond that. Many players seem to be experiencing a hell pod loading screen loop where they get stuck in infinite loading screens, whether it's a short clip or cutscene. Uh, as of today, um, they've put out a patch to fix the issue. So don't forget to go out there and patch it. Also, if you haven't updated your, uh, your video card, do that now because I forget about it all the time, and that's something that needs to be done on a regular basis just so it, it updates for these certain games, especially like this one. Um, and then you've got the server, server status issue, which is ongoing, and that's both for PS5 and PC alike. And then and, uh, failed to join game or lobby, failed to create. If you're experiencing getting pop-ups telling you you have failed to join or create a lobby, that's probably due to a server issue and has no definite fixes at the time of them writing this. Of course not. Uh, crashing, so disable uh, Helldivers 2 crosspay, uh, turn off anti-aliasing, -al -al and reduce ground graphical settings, obviously these are all things that you're going to do first off. Now these aren't so much easy to do on the PS5. If you're crashing on the PS5, maybe an update is required. Um, I don't quite, and because I don't own a PS5, I don't know the finer details if you can actually change these things. I'm guessing not. They kind of keep it as their package deal, right? Uh, and then verify integrity of game files. This is an ongoing issue with some Steam games as well. So part of this issue, it probably becomes from the, it being built on our archaic system. And I have spoken about this a little bit in the past, uh, mostly with Star Citizen. Um, it's a game that has been in development hell. They're still producing this game that's supposed to come out we don't have a date, uh, but it, they're over 10 years in development on that game. And this is something that I spoke to in those videos, how 
the systems and the computers and everything that they're using is going to be obsolete. The natural obsolescence of these systems continue to drive the industry and you need to go out there and buy something new and do new things and get the newest um, upgrades and updates because of these things. But because of those, you still have certain things like this one being in particular. The PS5 and uh, Steam hit Helldivers 2 was built on an engine that was discontinued after work had become begun. ADLV reported that Arrowhead built Helldivers 2 using the Autodesk Stingray engine, once called Bits, uh, Bitsquid, the same engine used to create original Helldivers game, which first launched on the PS3, PS4, and PlayStation Vita in 2015. They're using a very old system that no longer has updates, no longer has anyone dealing with it. So in this case, you would maybe want as a company to sit there and go, well, can we just buy the company at this point so we can continue doing updates for this? Uh, in a tweet, Arrowhead John, uh, Arrowhead CEO Johan Pilsteed confirmed work on Helldivers 2 began before, uh, before Autodesk staying away was discontinued. This is true. Our crazy engineers had to do everything with no support to build the game to parity with other engines. And yes, the project started before it was discontinued. And this was very similar to what's going on with Star Citizen, where they've had to build everything up from the ground up up and that's one of the reasons why that game is still not released today they're in a beta state or an alpha state that's uh, at this point i'm never going to see it get released but they have thousands of employees worldwide right now and a few offices worldwide and it's still driving that game along i'm not sure how that can, can continue to happen obviously they're getting some kickbacks somewhere Helldivers 2 is Sony's biggest PC game uh, launch of all time, with a peak con uh, concurrent player uh, figure at 457,000 on Steam. Helldivers 2 success is even sparked renewed interest in Starship Troopers, which you, you, the clip below. IGN gave it a 9 out of 10. The combat feels fantastic, story missions feel fresh and interesting. So it's one of these games that is actually driving and feels like a game that should be out there. But if you can play it. That's the biggest draw on this. However, uh, Helldivers 2 has suffered significant issues, rendering it unplayable at times for many who have struggled to log in. This week, they've uh, released significant update aimed at easing the problems, mostly booting the AFK players that are just taking up a slot on the server. Anyway, what do you guys think of this? I've been your proud Canadian Phoenix Cinder Shadow. I'm signing off here. Have yourselves a great day, and I will see you again very soon.